welcome to my channel this is bupesh hope you are doing well hope you are doing well welcome to the amazing weekend so yeah so what we are doing today so we are doing another beautiful session on grafana alloy on the same playlist that we talked about last time so today we will be understanding how to use grafana alloy agent to do the uh, logging monitoring so grafana alloy again just a quick background is a agent that is going to replace grafana agent uh, by end of 2025 so that is already deprecated so better to do that migration or understanding before that uh, gets rolled off right so a quick recap what we have done is in the same playlist first of all we understood how to bring uh, matrices from a ubuntu or a vm machine using grafana alloy agent and uh, understand that thing onto a grafana cloud or grafana local instance and then second session was on to understand install and configure grafana alloy agent set metric setup on kubernetes cluster right so today we'll be understanding how to send log okay logs using grafana alloy uh, agent which is an open telemetry based collector to, uh, to your locky instance and then see uh, the logs on locky and validates all the logs in grafana local by adding locky as a data source so let's not wait any, waste any further time quickly go back to your practical session and before we start do not forget to like and subscribe the channel this will help you to understand a lot of other video sessions in the same playlist or the playlist like grafana elastic search kubernetes and so on or no, open delivery also so i have created a github page for this entire uh, session will be you can get this details of this github page in the description of this video be very sure to check that should to check the description of this video so that you can Get the other videos pertaining to it. So let's get started. Let's not wait any further time on this. So this is the page that I'm referring today. So yeah, this is a small description. What is an alloy? It's a flexible open telemetry based collector, uh, which can send your metric flock and traces to any uh, you know endpoint. So for the first and the important point is install alloy on our Ubuntu. Uh, server or on any VM machine, so you can simply follow these steps. Since I've already done this thing in my previous session, I'll just skip it and then uh, we'll simply go onto the Ubuntu machine and we'll see whether my system CTL alloy. So, this is let me check whether it is running or not. This is already running, so we'll just simply reload this alloy. Okay, and then we'll start the alloy. We'll check the status. So uh, this is the vanilla installation we are talking about. Okay, so alloy is already running. So let's understand the important piece: how to configure Locky on this. So you know, if you have already installed Locky on this same machine or different machine, you can quickly route that thing onto my alloy configuration. If you're not done it, you can simply Go to this page and install Locky on your uh, own machine. So let me see whether my Locky is running or not. So let me see Locky instance is running on port number 3100. So it is already running, so which is good. So my Locky is running. My alloy independent is running. Let me create some dummy files, okay? Uh, so that I can take those files uh, to your uh, Locky instance, correct? So I'll just run these commands. It will create a folder called temp alloy and this will create certain logs in this okay we'll parse all these logs and we'll send all these logs to the uh, locky using grafana alloy so these are the logs that i want to capture or the, these are the logs which i want to read it okay now let me make some more changes so that i can see the latest log so let me do and this is all coming from a documentation i'm not, not doing anything rocket science so now this will contain your Okay, my bad. So let me run this thing again. Okay, and then I'll run this. I want to append this data. I don't want to. So this should be like this. Okay. Perfect. So let me do. Now I have four lines. Perfect. So let's modify the logging configuration of Grafana alloy. So I'll go to this. I'm already into this folder. ETC alloy. Okay fine 
and then uh, I need to uh, see this logging file. So in this, you need to understand it very slowly. So uh, I'm using that lock receiver. So what I'm saying that uh, this is my local dot file match. The 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 keyword for this, and you need to target this path. TMP alloy dot log and start dot logs. So any file which is having a uh, dot uh, log file. It will be get monitor it will be get can so if i go at to this location if i you know create one more log file uh, you know vim abc dot log so understand this session properly so that you can so you have two log file fine so it will read all both these two logs file and this is the locky dot source dot file okay what i'm saying from what are the sources? So this is the alias for this. So so this is the source. Basically, what I'm saying, this is the source. See? This is the source. Okay. And it will get forwarded to locky.process to I'll come on to this add new label. It will process to this. So what I'm saying, please read this file, but add a new label also. Now, what is how that label will get added? So I'm I'm breaking this file also. So dot log format i'm saying mapping is this the the extracted level is the content okay so what i'm saying uh, content of this file so content of this level equals to this basically see content of uh, this level will go to this variable content of this message will go to this now this is the mapping and what i'm saying now create a label so this is the new label that will get created in my locky. Uh, so this is the first variable, and that is nothing. This will get the values like info warning debug info. Okay, the same value which we have extracted earlier, and then this is the one accepted message from here. So this value. So potentially what I'm doing, I'm reading star dot log and then creating two new columns. Okay, these columns are uh, extracted columns. Fine. Now I'm forwarding it to locky label relabel receiver. What is the receiver? I'll uh, locky relabel add elastic and label receiver. So so now this is this is actually a pipeline. So this is getting forwarded to this guy. Now in addition to this, I want to add one static label also. That what is the rule? Target label is equal to OS. That is the name of the another column, and then it will have the constant dot OS is nothing but your operating system file name uh, operating system name fine now everything will go to your loggy dot right see this is the last piece of this grafana alloy okay so everything will, will get forwarded to port number 3100 where your locky is running into api push so the file will be scanned one by one new label will be extracted new label will be added as a static label and then everything will be get forwarded to this uh, locky API push URL and then I will add Slocky as a data source in my Grafana and then we'll see the results in Grafana. So this is what I'm explaining here. Copy the contents of config underscore login dot alloy configuration from this report to this etc alloy directory and then restart the alloy agent. So understand this piece very clearly because you will not find anything related to this on Google or YouTube because this is something pretty fresh topic on Grafana alloy. And then next session will do the kubernetes logging also from ports and containers okay so let me just do a quick restart and let me see whether that content has been already pasted or not so cd etc alloy okay now you can see every i have already pasted everything here okay now i'll do a sudo systemctl restart alloy and then i'll see the log for this so there is no adverse error here. Okay, the logs are coming nicely. Oh, this alloy agent. Let me verify the logs on Grafana. So I'll go to my Grafana, which is already running on port number 300. So if you do not know how to run Grafana, you can see any of my Grafana playlist and just install Grafana locally. Now the Grafana is already there, and I have a data source called as Logkey, which is up and running it is running a port number 3100 which i just show you a little while ago now locky is there so let me go to explore and then i'll just do a uh, 
filtration uh, this is the first filtration see i am getting both the file if i see i'm getting uh, data from this if i select other file i can get the other data see uh, if i uh, expand this i can see all the different different labels that i've generated so level info message is message os is linux see so this is coming nicely as a different different messages so i can either do this and then i can add certain other filtration also suppose i want to get only the info related filtration right message info right i can do a filtration like this now suppose i don't want to do, the, do it like this i'll do like this okay so there's a different way of doing any work so i can do like this file name equals to suppose log doc log and then i can get linux and then i can do level as info and then run it so i can see info level messages from that file correct so this is how you check the logs and this is a very basic example i have taken it i have not taken anything super complex so that you can understand how this entire logging pipeline works in grafana alloy now this is something interesting i have shown it to you now i'll do one more a bit complex thing so let me go to my prometheus so what kind of matrices are coming in this so currently uh, prometheus is having only i think it should have only uh, the prometheus endpoint matrices okay both i'll do this yeah only prometheus which is being monitored by prometheus now i will inject now this is a very very important point you will not get this thing anywhere so now i will inject in, inject your matrices data also okay matrices so that with the same alloy agent i can send matrices i can send the uh, logs also so i'll come here let's understand this piece sudo vim config.alloy okay at the end i will just so this will process all your now this will process all your matrices so again simple to understand I, am, I want to scrape matrices from 9090 okay and i want to scrape matrices from 9100 which is nothing but your node exporter and then send all that data to prometheus remote right into the same alloy now i will just restart my alloy and we'll see the whether there's any error or not okay and then i will just see the error there should be not any error let me just do a uh, restart of my prometheus also prometheus is stop so in the same session i'm just trying to show you how can get matrices also i've already shown that matrices session separately but in the same dot alloy i'm just trying to show you uh, matrices and logs both okay i'll do a stop and then i'll run again top alloy start alloy fine so now let me see whether the, my node exporter is publishing something matrices on 9100 port so my node exporter is already running it is having some matrices so i want to capture all these matrices now with the help of uh, grafana alloy so i hope i should run last five minutes ah see the node sort of started flowing and this is coming from your uh, uh, grafana alloy configuration see how beautiful i can do both the things matrices and logs monitoring using grafana alloy so log key is having your uh, data of uh, logs and then the matrices is, is getting stored so if i do this last three hours we'll get all the you see the logs are coming here matrices are coming here from the same from the same grafana alloy configuration it's really good to see how it is showing and then let's do a quick check from the dashboarding perspective let's onboard or import node exporter dashboard right and node exporter dashboard is simple 1860 yes this is the number i have okay we'll do quick to some different name change uid to select prometheus we'll import over right perfect see so prometheus node exporter matrices started flowing just in the same session i did not it was not flowing earlier so you can see it started flowing within last 10 seconds everything is coming from this grafana alloy guy okay 
so uh, let me show you uh, so this alloy is uh, not only doing your matrices scraping but also the lock scraping so that is the reason uh, it is uh, you know beautiful to combine both these files so what i have done potentially i've combined this file and this file right into a single config.alloy so that is pretty much i'll take a pause here and just digest this information how grafana alloy helps in logging and reading the information from the files and it can create new labels it can create static labels it can create labels from their log files also and uh, yeah in the same session we have added the matrices on the same alloy configuration so next session is again another important thing we'll be doing grafana alloy logging not in Ubuntu, but into Kubernetes cluster, which is again a very difficult or a different topic for most of the users since Grafana Alloy is just, you know, evolving. So do check out. Uh, have a great weekend, I would say, at the end. And uh, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you later in the Grafana Alloy logging on Kubernetes. Till then, goodbye. Take care. Shabbat. Bye-bye.